Hey guys, it's Daniel, and I'm back with another video this week on how to ace biology. It's really, really simple. Personally, I found that summarizing things, summarizing your notes into your own condensed notes, or you know, just summarizing in general, will not serve you as well as if you were to read additional sources or find additional examples or you know, just find fun facts and then add those, write those directly in your margins. A lot of people just spend too much time summarizing and uh, they don't even look at other additional sources that might help them understand it from a different angle. Now, why is this important and why does this save you time? Well, it's important because it will allow you to connect all the concepts together in a more holistic and comprehensive picture. It allows you to create a more diverse and a larger web so that you can actually remember things. So for example, um, let's say you find a fun fact on, uh, let's say mutualism between organisms in a symbiotic relationship. Okay, so uh, in that case, what would help me memorize that better rather than just simply memorizing the definition of, of uh, mutualism, because that's obviously just gonna go in one year and write out the other the next moment. So instead, I'm gonna go to Google and search up an example. So, okay, I find that there's mutualism between termites and uh, fungi, right? So I watch a YouTube video on that, or I just take, go to Google images, find an image and, you know, paste it directly into my notes or write something about it in my notes. Really, really important. It's going to serve you very well in better retaining that info for a longer period of time and really understanding everything. If you simply just decide to uh, summarize a definition, like it's, it helps. It does help. I'm not saying it doesn't help. It's just that you will be more likely to forget, right? Cause you're not, you don't have any other additional info to recall it by. That's the main core of how I study and how I've gotten A's in pretty much all my biology courses, I think. Yeah, I scored an A minus, which is the lowest I've ever scored in biology in college um, in my first semester, of first year. So it wasn't perfect. I was still trying to figure my method out and well, it clearly works now. I've aced all my biology courses. Um, so yeah, this works. The second order of business is Anki flashcards. Now I discovered this um, in the summer pretty much. Okay, so I discovered Anki flashcards in the summer from uh, watching people like Rachel Southard and Ali Abdal and just other medical YouTubers and you know, I, I'm a big fan. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, they must be doing something right. So I'm very open to altering my study strategy. So I decided, hey, why not? Okay, this method I used was working really well but how can I make it even better? So that's where Anki comes in. And uh, I'm gonna do a whole video on that um, coming up next. And it's really, I'm gonna walk you guys through it because I find that a lot of the videos online might show you maybe how to set it up, um, how to use it kind of briefly, but a lot of people just kind of skimp over like, how do you actually determine what's high yield info and what's not? What should go into Anki and what shouldn't? These are really important. So I'm gonna outline the whole process with examples specific examples and that will be in my next video so look forward to it so that'll be it um, that's it for this video and uh, thanks for watching please like and subscribe and uh, share and hopefully this served you well